Hello and welcome to my look at Admiral Markets, a highly uh, regulated uh, brokerage firm that initially was based in the United Kingdom in 2001, but has since branched down. It's got offices and um, regulation in, in various countries, uh, headquarters in Estonia, uh, Cyprus, uh, a few other places as well. What's interesting about Admiral is that it gives you the ability to deposit in so many different currencies. And depending on the route that you are using, you could be talking uh, as much as like 15, 16 different currencies that you can deposit in. And then you have the ability to convert in dollars, francs, pounds, uh, or euros. So uh, it's a good way to hedge currency exposure. You can see that all the regulators are listed clearly above. Uh, the typical platforms are offered, the MetaTrader series. Uh, they do have the Supreme Edition, which comes with uh, uh, some other widgets that you don't typically see on MetaTrader 4 and 5. So that's interesting. I do like that idea. Uh, WebTrader also uh, is just simply MetaTrader, but on the web. So this allows you to trade from anywhere. MetaTrader, of course, works on mobile. Most of you will know that. Account types, uh, several different accounts, but there's Admiral Markets uh, with MetaTrader 4. Minimum is 200 euro deposit in whatever one of these currencies you wish to deposit. Several trading instruments. You can see currencies, uh, bonds, stocks, such. Uh, leverage is, you know, really kind of anywhere from... Um, yeah, 1 to 30, 1 to 20, just kind of depending on what we're looking at. Indices are a little bit lower. Spreads are uh, from half a pip. And uh, as you can see, uh, there are some commissions on ETFs, but uh, typically uh, that's uh, not a major issue uh, because the spreads are so tight. And then you can see uh, there are a maximum amount of lots. Uh, open and pending orders, uh, etc. Now, uh, there's also the ability to do automated trading. Um, there's the Admiral Prime, which offers you more currencies, uh, a little thinner uh, spread. And uh, the one thing, of course, is there's a higher deposit. The platforms, again, are well known. So those should be things that you are used to. And you can see that there's a list of contract specification margin requirements, uh, those types of uh, deals there. Uh, there's all of the uh, demo count, you know, your usual policies, etc. Uh, there's a nice education section here. Uh, it's pretty big, but, uh, you know, at, at this point, most of these brokerage firms are offering this. So um, really, at this point, if they don't offer the uh, education and analysis, those types of things, then really um, you're not dealing with a very strong brokerage firm. And Admiral certainly fulfills that need. The exception, of course, is if it's a professional platform and you don't need any of that. And then the spreads or commissions or whatever are very tiny. But really, um, most of these uh, retail environments just simply have had to do this. Um, there are uh, some of your best conditions. So retail and professional terms. You can see the uh, full negative balance protection for a retail Um you know, stronger regulatory uh, professionals reduce margin requirements. In other words, increase leverage. That's, you know, that comes down to the individual trader. Uh, strong uh, list of uh, markets that they go through. You can see that if you go down here, you can see uh, all of the uh, contracts. Uh, the So we go to currencies and there's 23 minor pairs, 19 exotics, five majors. So like the Euro and the Czech Corona, Euro, Norwegian Corona, Euro, Swedish Corona, uh, New Zealand dollar, Singapore pair, you know, uh, US dollar offshore, remember Yuan, which of course is something that you don't get any, you know, at just any brokerage. So that's something to pay attention to as well. You know, they've been around since 2001. So clearly they have done quite well. Um, certainly a trusted brokerage firm. 
and uh, definitely a place where you can trade the world um, in a somewhat limited manner because we only have a handful of indices or whatever, but uh, certainly enough uh, for the average trader and in good conditions. 